Giga Texas is 99.3% done, and work continues toward making Phase 1 a 2 million car factory. I'm Brian. Welcome to My Tesla Weekend. A big thanks to my newest and upgrading patrons, Mark, John, and Thomas, and upgrading patron, Jeffrey Songster. Thank you guys for choosing to support this channel. It really does mean a lot to me. And for everyone else, please subscribe and bell and smack the like button early so YouTube knows to actually show this video to other people. <gasps> Let's go. Yeah, we are getting down to it. Sure, there are likely to be additional areas built upon, like the cathode building to the east, where we've seen the footprint laid out, the supposed office building to the west, where we have also seen the footprint laid out, and others across the 2,500-plus acres of the site. But this is where we're at, and this is what we understand, so that's what we're tracking. The solar installation continues on the roof with unknown final scale or capacity. The dirt is still getting moved from the northwest corner where the cyber wall is going to the ever-growing pile of dirt to the far east. And the trailers for portable offices, uh, they just keep getting moved farther from the main site. Yeah, they're over by where the Martin Marietta maintenance plant used to be doesn't really matter. All that's well, all that's good, but let's get the progress graph out of the way real quick first. Yeah, it looks great. Inching up nicely, slowing down here in the end as expected. My very first tracker suggested a completion date of mid-December of 2021, and we now know that that is indeed when they started building cars for testing and validation, so that math worked out pretty well, and it continues to, you know, move along. I thought the factory would be a bit smaller than it actually is, but it's all fine. There are still a lot of factors to consider at Giga Texas, and I'm happy to count them all out, but what do you guys want me to address next week? Let me know in the comments, is there some particular aspect of the construction or tracking that I can do that would add value to, you know, your weekly Tesla diet? Let me know. I did get some heat for my solar tracker last week, like I did for the concrete tracker before that, and that wasn't unfair. But what I didn't get as much was uh, anything that would actually help me dial in my numbers much better. Um, I'd like to sharpen them up, but unless you're an industrial solar installer, and I do hope you are, math like this is incredibly difficult to properly nail, unlike your mama who is kind and gracious and always makes time for a phone call, she can, she can be counted on. You can, you can, you can ink that. She's very, she's very gracious. What? What did you guys think I meant? From the financials, it's looking like this phase of Giga Texas will be around 4 billion smackaroo bobs to build and equip. And that seems kind of reasonable. It's vastly bigger than the first phase of Giga Shanghai, and slightly bigger than the first two phases combined before they went into phase 2.5 and beyond. And of course, construction costs slightly more in the US than it does in China. In terms of production, well, this suggests a run rate in excess of a million a year just from what we're seeing constructed today, with significant upside potential in the future. Shanghai, in its current form, is roughly the same size and already has about a million a year run rate, but isn't yet employing the 4680 batteries, the structural battery pack, the structural front and rear mega castings, and has no known plans for a paintless product like the Cybertruck. Texas could likely run closer to 2 million a year as it's already been built. 
Much in the way the Tesla Model X was once considered so quaint by Elon that they might just discontinue it, the Models 3 and Y, as they appear today, may soon look similar as the efficiencies of Gigafactory 3.0 transition into reality. I mean, the Model 3 does not have the mega castings. It does not have the structural battery pack. And you gotta paint the darn car. They haven't even transitioned to LFP batteries yet. This could be just a clever holdover from Tesla 2.0. So here's the completion figures as of today, and a reminder that I'll be revising the calculations in the future to give more weighting to the interior completion and afford more time for that, since so few countries are, you know, uh, China. This'll continue slowing until mid-April when the math hits 100%, but it really doesn't matter at this point, since we already know that they're making cars. Subscribe if you haven't to get notified. Follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast and a smack of the thummy thing in either direction if you made it this far. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave your wisdom and suggestions in the comments below. And as always, my friends, I beg you to stay tuned, stay juicy, and I remind you that I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots as this mega monster of production comes online and gets up to speed.